Sochi, professional performance and a 1-0 victory away at Chorley. Just give me your thoughts on that one. Um, it's never going to be pretty, is it? Uh, I mean, to be fair, I'm going to give them credit before, before I start off because they try to play the right way and it's um, unfortunate to see them down there because the way they try and play football, they try and do it the right way and they're not actually bad. They made it a tough game. Um, I mean, we had the perfect start, which has probably been the opposite for us in, in new recent games. And I think uh, with the experience we've got and, and the ability in the team, I think when we do go one nil up, it, it definitely helps to steady the ship a little bit. And, you know, I wasn't really, really tested today. I think that's a credit to the lads. I think we was always in control of the game. I think they did have spells, but uh, I think we managed it well. You mentioned with starts there. Started the first off, obviously, perfectly with uh, Paul goal, And then in the start of the second half, we stamped our authority on the game again. How important was that when you come up here that you start quickly? I think uh, if you look at the conditions, we were against the wind first half. So to start off like that and then and see the half out, you know, with that bit of bit of wind behind your second half and Maka's ability in the air, you, you've always got a good chance because you keep them in. Um, I mean, the keeper made one of the best saves against us we've seen this season, to be fair to him, um, which if that goes in, it's 2-0 and then you don't know if it goes on to be 3 or 4. But um, I think 1-0, like, like you said, that sometimes not a bad thing because if you can get over the line like that, you'd definitely take eight, eight more of them before the end of the season. You've not had to pull off too many saves today but does that show how well that back three of Santos, Elliot and Callum Reynolds played as well as Sweeney and Dunny in front of them as well? Yeah I think even if you go back to when H was in the team and you know and, and stuff like that at, at centre half I think when we're on it the you're going to let goals in all the teams are going to have spells where, where I'm busy but you know evidently that's my job do you know what I mean but I think I think it starts from the front I think with Macca now that, that big presence and that's no disrespect to Sim and Josh because they've been outstanding this season but I think they need the help of Macca as well it's a bit of experience and it's a bit more strength up there which which kind of gives us a bit of a fear factor as well I think teams teams now players think oh we've got McCallum it kind of kind of gives us a little bit you know one up already and big week to come now as we just said off camera there two points off the playoffs, so Dagenham choose having a cup quarter final on Saturday. You must be really looking forward to the next week. Yeah, I mean, we'll take it one game at a time. We're fortunate, you know, that we've got quite a few games in hand, and um, it's not going to be plain sailing all the way. You know, Dagenham have picked up, they've, they've brought some new players in, new manager, and you know, we, we've just got to take one game at a time. We, we lost to Solid Hill, but we've bounced back today, and if that's the case for the rest of the season, you win every other one, you're going to get in the playoffs. So we've just got to have that that consistency from now till till May, and I think um, and regarding the FA Trophy. Don't want to say too much because it's a team that everyone's going to expect us to beat. So we've just got to be professional about that. And this week is about being professional and, and just getting the job done and getting over the line. Just going to lastly touch on the support we've received at Solihull and then obviously disappointing to have the game abandoned Tuesday. But then they've come up here again in their numbers of Bees fans and got right behind you and you've sent them home with three points. Yeah, we've, we've had great support. I think, you know, whether, whether there's 50 that travel, whether there's 200 that travel, um, to get any that come and brave this weather. I mean, it's been horrific for the last two or three weeks. And, you know, whenever there's a bit of a setback, they're, they're, they're still there in numbers. And that's why we have to put performances in because these people pay their money and they, and they deserve they deserve at least a performance. And I think they're getting that now. Maybe not, not the, I know we want to play football, and, but we're doing the nitty gritty and showing that desire that I think we've, we've said all along. If it doesn't go well for you or the result doesn't go well, right, if, you, if you're showing that desire and that little bit of grit that we've got now, then. Um, and they go away happy and plus they get to see Jordan Pickford every game don't they so it's, <laughs> so it's uh, you know, always a bonus for